Conducting research can be time-consuming, expensive and difficult. But research has power. It can provide evidence and direction for changing the world. To define research, let's first talk about what is not research. Opinion pieces in the press are great for advancing your argument, but they are not research. The contents of your campaigns can be based on research, and we think they should, but on its own is not research. So what is research? Research is fundamentally guided by a question. Research involves you coming up with a hypothesis. That means a theory about what's going on. Research is based on observable facts and materials gathered by you. Good research is clear about the methods that we use in generating your argument. Someone should also be able to find evidence that contradicts or supports your argument. Let's start with a simple example. What if I wanted to find out which marbles were more common, red or blue marbles? I would determine my universe of marbles, this bag, and I would apply my methodology, in this case counting, and come up with my conclusion. Red marbles are more common. Someone could imagine the alternative could be true, that there are more blue marbles. Because I've been clear about my research methods, they could also set out to test them and count the marbles themselves. Now that we've covered marbles, let's look at a more complex example. Let's take a look at what can happen if you start your question from a place of bias or unfounded assumptions. Sometimes questions can be flawed from the start by having a lot of hidden assumptions. Consider the research question. What kind of surveillance of Nigerian human rights defenders is most common? The assumption here is that surveillance is actually occurring. What evidence do you have that human rights defenders are being surveilled? Secondly, how likely are you to be able to measure the surveillance in question? If you're not careful, what you will be measuring is human rights defenders' beliefs about surveillance, not the actual surveillance that may or may not be happening. If you're into changing the world, like we are at Privacy International, everything you do will be guided by what we call the public interest. That means we're not researching issues just because we're curious about them or to advance theory. We're conducting research so we can use the results to protect privacy, to challenge government policy, to campaign for better protections, or to inform the debate about the impact that new technologies have on human rights.